So today we're going to take a look at how to add text to the blocks in the world. So the easiest way to do this, there's more than one way, but what I think is the easiest way to do this is to select the block that you want to add text to, uh, and then we're going to create a canvas that is only going to be for this block. You'll have another canvas that'll be the, the UI element, but we want one that's just for the block so that we can display some text. So um, I'm going to start with a square brick here. I'm going to right click, uh, go down to UI and I'm going to choose a canvas. Canvas is just something that holds the UI. Now by default, if I double click on the canvas just to zoom in on it, the canvas is this gigantic thing that takes up a ton of your space in the world. Could just rearrange this a little bit here so it is easier to, to see. Um, and that's because by default when you create a new canvas it creates itself a screen space overlay. Uh, over here in the so I'm highlighting the canvas over here in the inspector in the canvas aspect of it I can change this from screen space overlay to screen face camera which is based more on the camera that's in the scene whichever one I want to call the main camera or world space. I'm going to change it to world space that means that rather than being so gigantic being an overlay on top of the camera it's going to be an actual object in the world. I'm also going to change this dynamic pixels per unit on the canvas scaler to 100. Oops, maybe. There we go. Okay, so now I need to resize this so that it's about the same size as my brick. So I'm just going to grab it here, zoom it way down, double click on it again to focus back in, zoom it way down some more, double click on it again. I'm going to make it the same size as the brick. So I'm just going to kind of zoom in here and just make sure that I'm about the same size as the brick. Okay, now I'm going to rename this to Brick Health Canvas so that I actually have it written down as something in the scene. And then I'm going to, to this canvas, so with the canvas highlighted, I'm either going to go to Create or right click. And I'm going to choose UI. And from here, I'll choose Text. So I want to make a text. Now, this text by default is also ginormous. So if I double click on it, I can kind of zoom out to see where it is. I'm going to resize it. And as soon as I start moving it, you can see it kind of starts to reposition itself in the scene. Double click on it again so that I can resize it. Now, it kind of disappears. And that's because the font for the text right now is set to be 14. I'm going to change this to best fit and my font size I want it to be at is zero. And there it is right there. So I'm going to zoom in some more. I'm going to change this from new text to just say a number, zero in this case. I'm going to center it and center it. And then I'm going to make it so that it fits about on the bottom half of this canvas. Just so that, and if I look at my game view here, make this bigger. You can see that makes this nice neat number right there. Uh, okay, I'm also going to rename this from text to brick health text. All right, and cool. So we've got our canvas set up for the square brick and all of that is inside of the square brick. Now what I wanna do next is I want to mimic the same thing for the triangular brick. So I'm going to Highlight the Brick Health Canvas. I'm going to hit uh, Command D on a Mac or Control D on a Windows to duplicate it. I'm going to take this new canvas and parent it under Triangle Brick. And then I'm going to move it over here so that it's with the Triangle Brick. And just take the one off of its name here. And yeah, cool. Uh, also, just so that this will show up better, I'm going to have this be, go down to text, I'm going to have it be left aligned, um, just so it's kind of in this area that's going to end up being colored, so it's not kind of here in the middle. Uh, it's perfectly fine, I think, for it to be in the middle on the square brick, but on the triangular brick, I want it kind of off to the side. Okay, so I've created the canvas and the text elements. Now, what I need to do is I need to come up with a way to actually display um, how many hits it'll take to destroy each brick. 
And to do that, I'm going to create a new C-sharp script. So I'm going to go into my project window here, into my scripts folder. I'm going to right-click in here and create a new C-sharp script. And I'm going to call this Brick Health Manager. I'll open this up in Mono Develop. And this is just going to be a way for me to monitor how much health each brick has. Now, in the actual game, um, the bricks have as much health as number of times the bricks have fallen down. So I'm going to need like a, a level stored somewhere, and I'll get to that in the next video, probably the video after that. Next video, we're going to talk about object pooling. Um, where we talk about creating this game manager class that's going to observe everything. But for now, we're going to create a public int as a global variable. And we're going to call this brick health. And we want to have a reference to the text object in the scene as well. So up here, with our using statements, we're going to add another one. We're going to add using unityengine.ui. And then down here with the public ints, or with the global variables, I'm going to add a reference to the text object that's going to be on the brick. So I'm going to say public text, and we'll call it brick health text. Um, yeah. Okay. So then down here in the start method, actually, instead of making this public, I'm just going to change this to private. Now, the component of text, if you look in here, back in Unity, we've got our square brick, and then as a child, we have the health canvas, and then as a child of that, we have the health text. So what we want to do is we can't use get component, because get component is going to find a component that is on this exact object. So I could call the color controller, the sprite renderer, or the transform using get component. And using the color controller, that means that every time it gets hit, I can change its color a little bit. Um, but I can't access the text, because the text is down here as a child of the health canvas. So what I want to do instead, I'm going to go back into Mono Develop here, and I'm going to set this brick health text. So I'm going to assign it using uh, a method called get component in children. So I'm going to say brick health text is equal to get component and its singular component in children and I want to get the text from the children and that's what the brick health text is going to be equal to. The reason I'm doing it this way instead of using it as public and assigning it in the editor is because these bricks are going to spawn programmatically uh, which means that when they come in from being a prefab they're not going to automatically have their text assigned and each instance of it is going to think differently about what its text is. So I want to have a method here, not a method, but a command here that's going to automatically assign that health text to the right thing. So then down here in the update method, I'm going to say uh, brick health text and I want to access the text part of the text object, so dot text is equal to, and then whenever you're assigning text, it always has to be as a string. So I'm going to do just open close quotations, which creates a string, and then I'm going to add to that brick health. Now, I know I'm going to need to have two more methods, so I'm going to create them right now. Um, actually, just one method and then a little bit of defensive programming. So the method I'm going to create is a method to reduce the health of the brick. So I'm going to say void, uh, I'm going to call this take damage, and this is going to pass in an integer value, which is how much damage it's going to take. So I'm going to say int damage to take. Um, now what I'm going to do, so this is just a new integer I created that is only accessible in this method and whenever I call the take damage method from another class, I need to tell it how much the damage to take is. So if I just call take damage from another class without telling it how much damage to give in parentheses, it won't work. I'll get an error. So then down here, I'm just going to say brick health. 
minus equals damage to take. So that means I'm going to take the current brick health and subtract from it the damage to take. All right. Um, good. From there, now in my update method, I'm going to check to see if the brick's health is less than zero or equal to or less than zero. So I'll say if brick health is less than or equal to zero, and I'm just going to add um, a little comment here. So I'll create a comment just by using these two uh, forward slashes. And you can see that stuff's already commented out in general in Unity. I've got a comment here and a comment here. It's just a way for you to add a note to yourself or to other people about exactly what's going on. And this is going to be destroy brick. Uh, OK. So we don't have this wired up to anything yet. Um, but we can check to make sure everything's going to work. So I'm going to save my script. I'm going to go back into Unity. And I'm going to choose my two bricks here, my square brick and my triangle brick. And I'm going to assign the brick health manager to both of them. So triangle brick and square brick. I'm going to set both of their health to be, let's say, 10, just so you can see it change. So when I hit play here, we should see right away their color was assigned automatically and their health changes to 10. Now, pretty soon here, we'll make it so that every time the, uh, the ball touches one of them, we're going to reduce that health by 1. And if the health is equal to 0, we'll remove it from the scene. But we're going to use something called object pooling to make it a little cleaner uh, so that we're not creating and destroying all these objects, so that instead we're activating and deactivating objects that are in the scene the whole time. So it's a little kinder to the CPU. Uh, okay, so thank you very much. Uh, have a great day.